Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll be exploring how to generate and embed a web browser within our PYQT6 application. Now, surprisingly, this is actually quite simple. You see this code here? It's roughly 20 lines, including imports and boilerplate code, yet it can generate a web browser within a PYQT6 application. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? So what we're going to do here to uh, set this up first need to install the web engine module, right? Previously in PYQT5, it was included within the PYQT5 installation, but now with PYQT6, it's been moved to a separate package. So you need to first install it before proceeding with this tutorial. Let me find the install command. Yeah, here it is. pip install PYQT6 dash web engine. Okay, run this and then it'll be installed on your system, okay? Once you've done that, you can proceed with this tutorial. So here we have a main window class, and then we create a layout. And over here is where we create the web engine view. All right. This creates basically a view object that we can interact with and load. And, you know, we can do many things that we're going to explore in this tutorial. Basically, this is the main feature of this program. Set URL. Then using QURL, we load this URL. So if I run this code now, it's going to load my website, coderslegacy.com. See? Right here. Pretty cool, right? So, uh, and that's how it's basically done. We can interact with the website, and l let me just show you that, actually. We can um, click on it and stuff, just like we normally would. Okay, I can click on sidebar and then go to python here we go see pretty cool stuff right so what else can we do with this that's a very basic use right we just displayed a web page now what if we wanted to display a local file like you don't necessarily need to connect to a website opening a web browser can also be for an html file that you want to display that's also actually a very common use i have this sample one.html file with me right now it's over here, uh, all of this. So let's explore how we can load this up. I'm going to change this line to set HTML. Then over here, we're going to use the open function, which is used normally in Python for file handling. Then over here, we're going to specify the file path of our HTML file. And then we do dot read. Okay. And now we run this and it should load our file. And oh, wait, let me just change the file path over here in PYQD6. There we go. Now this is going to load and there we go. This is a sample HTML file. Uh, I just downloaded, downloaded a random one off the internet. And yeah, there we go. All right, cool. So that's how we can load local files. There are also some other cool things that we can do because normally you're not going to be creating a proper web browser inside your, your GUI application. That's why, as you noticed, there wasn't any kind of search bar or navigation bar. We actually can add the search bar and navigation bar if you want to, and I'll show you how to do that by the end of this video. But for now, there's something else I want to discuss. View.load and these things that you see over here are basically signals load finished dot connect and then we pass in a function over here so let me just define the function load finished all right and over here i'll just print out the loading as finished all right now i'm going to define one more for load started Right now, I'm going to connect this this signal to this function load finished self dot load finished, and if you haven't already guessed by now, these are basically functions that we can connect to events in the web engine. So whenever the load finishes, whenever the load finished event occurs, uh, basically when the web page has loaded, then this function that we've connected it to is going to be called load finished is going to be called right and similarly when the loading starts the load started function will now be called these are useful things that we can use right 
So let me run this code now. And it should say down here. All right, hold on. Uh, there, the loading has finished. And where is, ah, uh, there it is. The loading has started, all right? So we can see that if we want to execute some custom code right before the loading, right, and right after the loading ends, this is the kind of thing that we can do, all right? So it's uh, kind of useful to have this around. And one more thing that I promised to discuss how to create a toolbar. Here is the code and it's a bit of a pain. So I'll make this available on my website and you can access that website from the link in the description below. All right, I'll leave that in there. This code here basically creates a menu, sorry, a toolbar, and it has many options, many buttons on it. And they trigger, the, the, they trigger these different functions. They trigger the reload function, the forward function, the back function. And these are all functions that you can also call normally, by the way. Okay, you, you, they don't necessarily need to be called uh, by triggering a function or something. You, you can just call these yourself, all right? So if I run this code, just to show you how it works, uh, here is the search bar in Google. Let me type in coderslegacy.com and there we go. See, we can hit the reload button and reload and we can hit the back button and come back to Google. See, so that's how we can use the web browser in PyQt6. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye then.